The countdown is over. It's time for our first ever family holiday. Ah! Hello my loves, I hope you're all really well and welcome to the start of our holiday vlogs. We're going on holiday tomorrow, we fly at half past one in the afternoon. Today is all about the last minute holiday prep. I've just had a lovely long shower, I've washed my hair, I've just blow dried it with the Dyson Air Wrap so it like stays nice for the next few days so I don't have to worry about that. Um, I've exfoliated, I've shaved, I've got a fresh layer of fake tan on, um, feeling sticky but feeling sun-kissed. Got a nice baggy t-shirt on. Today is all about being comfy. It's an everyday. So I thought it would be nice for us to pack together this morning. Um, I love a pack with me. I feel like there's something nostalgic and a little bit old school YouTube about a pack with me. Um, and I feel like they represent just like happiness. You watch a pack with me video when you're about to go on holiday, right? So it's like... It's exciting. So yeah, if you are heading off on holiday soon, hope you have an amazing time. But as you guys know, this is our first family holiday. I've already said it about three times. Um, and we're going to Greece, we're going to Crete with our almost one year old. Guys, I actually can't talk about it because I can feel, I can feel my throat going. I can feel my eyes about to cry. Look at them, they're watering. Um, Noah's nearly one and I just, I can't even get onto the subject because I feel very emotional about it. Um, but yeah, our first holiday, of course, we're going to be vlogging the entire week. So you guys are going to be coming along with us. So my next video will be our holiday vlog. So I thought it would be nice to just pack together today, get all ready. So my loves, get yourself your favourite drink. I've got a big coffee, my water, so we can stay hydrated and take some sips of either or in moments of stress. I'm gonna take one now. So today I'm gonna to be packing mine and Noah's suitcase. Jamie will probably do his about five minutes before we've got to leave um, tomorrow. So <laughs> he is that person. I've actually got some packing organization bits going on. I feel like this is the year I'm gonna have an organized suitcase. I'm gonna know where everything is. Um, it's not all just gonna be thrown in. I've got a baby now, like I have to be organized. I find, maybe I'm a little bit OTT. Jamie tells me I'm, 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 I'm a bit too OTT, but I do like to be as organized as possible when I'm going anywhere with Noah because I just think it makes it so much easier. So I picked up a few packing organization bits from Amazon, which I'm gonna be using today, which I'm excited about. So thought I would just quickly share those first. So first up, oh, what should I show you first? I don't know. Got me some packing cubes. So you get them in a set and it's just a selection of loads of different sized packing cubes. And I just thought these would be really handy to have like a different section for each thing. Loads of different sized ones. Planning on using these for like swimwear, hair stuff. Just like to have a place for everything I think will be really useful. There's literally so many in here. And then you've got like little zippy ones for toiletries and stuff. And then you've got a nice big one as well. So I'm looking forward to using those. I also picked up, these are really good. I got two of these. So I got a large one for my bit and then a slightly smaller one for Noah's toiletries and they're like a little compact bag inside they're like a bit of a mary poppins bag like look at that it's so long I actually hang this on the back of the door i'm thinking of the bathroom on holiday and you can just see all your products yeah, i just thought these would be really handy especially for noah's bits then i picked up these little squeeze what am i saying squeezy bottle they feel really satisfying and i like the colors of these and i think i'm going to use these for my shampoo and conditioner a few other bits i picked up an adapter which i so nearly forgot this came this morning i thought yesterday oh my goodness i have not got an adapter and i couldn't find one in the house usually we've kind of got one laying around from past holidays but we've moved house since our last holiday so it probably got lost um but this one's one plug and then two plugs here and also some usb plugs which is going to be really useful because quite a lot of noah's electric bits just have a usb plug um like his white noise sheep which we're probably going to take stuff like that so i thought that would be handy bought this 
travel tripod so we can get some nice family pics and videos. It's great, it all lifts, it lifts out, that bit lifts up, you put your phone in there, look how long it goes. I just thought it was really good. So that will come in very handy. Last thing I got was just two packs of these plain zip up bags. Again, loads of different sizes. It'd be great to organize bits in. I'm hoping these bits and bobs will help me just feel a little bit less overwhelmed with the amount, the sheer amount of stuff you need to take anywhere with a baby. I used to think packing for me was stressful. No. Packing for Noah is a whole new ball game. Of course I've got lists, right? I've got lists on my phone. Thinking let's start with my suitcase. Honestly guys, this room, it may look like clear. It's not. It's chaotic. Also guys, look at my new suitcase. Let me, let me turn you. It's absolutely fabulous. It's huge and it's so light. Like it feels like a feather. Like look, I can, I could probably lift it with one finger. Look, I actually can lift it with one finger. We're gonna start with toiletries and like makeup and hair stuff. I've just gone into the bathroom and got out all of my essentials. So I'm gonna lay them all out just so I can see everything. And then I'm gonna go through my checklist and just check them off before I pack them. Okay, I know you guys won't believe me, but I've really tried to be a minimal packer. <laughs> and this is what minimal packing looks like for me. I'm just one of those people that like, I really don't want to forget something. So I just pack everything. So we've got a little hair care section here. Shampoo and conditioner. Of course, I'm taking the Foxy Locks shampoo and conditioner. I could not imagine washing my hair without this. It loads of volume, makes it super soft. Um, and yeah, I just really, really get on with it. I also find as well, it doesn't make my hair feel heavy. I feel like some shampoos and conditioners just make it feel heavy and almost like lifeless. And yeah, this brings my hair back to life every time I wash it. I'm not gonna take the full bottles because these are 500 ml bottles. They're absolutely huge. They last such a long time. So I think I'm gonna take two shampoos in these and then one conditioner. Then I can't forget my luxury hair oil. I use this every single time I style my hair, if I wear it in a slick back bun, which I'm probably going to do quite a lot on holiday. And I also thought this would be great for by the pool, if I've got like wet hair, I can absolutely drown my hair in the hair oil and it'll be like an all day little hair mask. I'm thinking, I'm actually going to take some clip-in hair extensions. These are the ones I use from Foxy Locks. These are the 22 inch seamless clip-in hair extensions and i wear the shade ice latte which is like a lovely cool blonde color foxy locks have got loads of different shades of extension this is the shade and i thought i've got this outfit that i think will look really nice with like super long super thick wavy like beach wave hair so that's one of my outfits for one of our evenings let me let me show you the the vibe it's like this croquet dress with the hair. <laughs> Imagine this is like wavy, glowy makeup, pearl earrings. I just think it's gonna be so nice. So yeah, definitely gonna take my hair extension. I actually have a discount code for Foxy Locks, which I'll pop on screen. You guys know I get all of my hair essentials from Foxy Locks, my shampoo, my conditioner, my oil, my paddle brush, my comb, my hair extensions. Um, so yeah, we'll pop my discount code on screen and there will also be a direct link to Foxy Locks down below for you guys to have a browse. Then, for more hair products, I am taking my beloved Heatless Curl Set. I have been using this so much at the moment. I feel like it's perfect for mum life where you don't really get too much time to do your hair. Um, I simply pop this in each evening. I usually pop some of this on my hair so it's a little bit damp. This is the Moroccan Oil Leave-In Conditioner which is really, really nice. Also got my straighteners just because the hot weather can make me sometimes look a little bit like Hagrid. Then we've got loads of scrunchies. feel like I can't have enough. Hair clips, again, I've got a selection because... I love a good claw clip. Oh, and then this stuff is really good. This is the Key Matte Pomade. And I use this when I do a slick back bum. Postpartum hair life got me like this. <laughs> so the entire front of my hair is currently looking like this. So what I like to do is when I have a slick back bum, I can just like slick it all down. And I use the pomade with my Denman 
comb. Sorry guys, that's got some hair in it. Should probably get that out. On to, let's go over here. So my fake tan section. I do not tan. I have got very fair skin and I don't really like to sunbathe. I don't like to be in the direct like sun. I am a shade hopper. I will hop under all the, all, all the umbrellas. All the umbrellas, I'm like a vampire. Fake tan I'm taking, filtered by Molly Mae. This is the only fake tan I use. So I'm taking the mousse, and then I'm also taking the spritz me. I wasn't sure whether to take this, because I feel like this will be enough. This is great to like top up your tan, you know, and you've done like your main mousse fake tan, and you've washed it off. It's really nice just to top it up, so I might just use this, and this is water-based as well, so it's like not messy at all. This is a summer essential, right? This is a summer essential product. The Cocoa Butter Gradual Tanning Moisturiser. So this is for when you've done your main tan, you've washed it off, pop this on top, it will make your tan last for so long. Keep your skin moisturised, it smells amazing, and again, really nice colour. And there's only actually a little bit left in here, so I'm thinking that's not too heavy. Tanning mitt, and this is the brush that I use to do my face. It is a little bit green. It could definitely do with a wash. Just quickly, got my deodorant, shower gel, body cream, love this one, um, some sun cream, this is actually oil, I meant to get cream, got some cream downstairs so we'll take that as well, and then a nice fresh Estrid razor in my little travel case. Skincare, I'm probably going to end up doing a bit of a panic pack because I just love skincare, skincare is my favourite thing and it was really hard just to choose a few products. Take him, my Elemis cleansing balm, I use this every day, super multi-purpose, like it's great to melt your makeup off, it's great to use as a hydrating mask so I'm thinking that'll be really good for holiday. Then I'm taking a foaming cleanser to use with my Foreo which I also use every day. Creator for when I want to scrub my tan off my face. Um, what else are we taking? Oh, this, which is a new little product that I've been loving, which is an acid peel. Been using this twice a week. And I'm going to take my skin in me for the evenings. Can't live without this. The moisturiser, which I thought would be really lovely for holiday, is this glowy one. This makes your skin so glowy. So I thought instead of taking a big moisturiser, I'd just take this. Then my lash and brow serum, which I've been using every day, and I've noticed the biggest difference in my lashes and brows. So I'm going to take those because most days are going to be no makeup days, so I can just pop these on when we're by the pool or at the beach. Okay, perfumes I'm taking. Favourite perfume in the world, Baccarat Rouge. I love this. This will be like my evening perfume. And then something if I just want to like spritz it on in the day. This perfume here, is lovely, like a super sweet um, feminine scent, great for daytime. So I'm just gonna take those two. Two years ago, I would have taken about 10 perfumes, but we're going minimal. <laughs> minimal, she said. Probably not gonna wear makeup the entire week because it's rare that I do wear makeup, but I do love nothing more than like a little holiday evening, very glowy, glam moment. So I'm gonna take a few bits. I believe I forgot to mention my favourite, one of my favourite products ever. So if you are a fellow fake tanner on holiday like me, you need this in your life. So this is the Saint Tropez self tan, like bronzing face mist. Oh my goodness, it's amazing. I pop this on nearly every day on top of my skincare and throughout the day it just gives me like a really sun-kissed look um, and it's really gentle on your skin as well. I've got sensitive skin on my face and I find that like sometimes it does get irritated very easily and this is really good for sensitive skins. We're looking good, we're feeling organised. Really impressed with these um, little, what are they called? My mind's gone blank. Packing cubes from Amazon. So I pop skincare in here. Love this little mesh bit so you can see, which fits perfectly. Makeup in this one, and I love, because it like opens like this, so you can actually see all of your makeup. Um, and I'm just taking my vitamins with me as well. I might actually pop these in like a little tray, you know, like for each day, not too sure yet, um, because you guys know I take these every single day, so they're just in there. And then, how good is this? I've just popped, to be honest, I was doing it in sections and then I was like, we're just wasting space here. So this was my fake tan section, but then 
I decided to just pop the shampoos and conditioners in here. By the way, these look small, but they fit so much product in there. Like I've got a lot of shampoo and conditioner, which I'm happy about because I'm probably going to wash my hair most days. We're going to be in the sea, in the pool. Oh, I can't wait. Um, so yeah, I've just popped all sorts of bits in here, hair bits at the top, and now we can fold it all up. How exciting. This is the moment where it, oh, hmm, where it doesn't close. Okay, this might be a, might need two hands. Oh, no, it's closing. Oh, kind of. Oh, it's closing. Oh my goodness, this is so good. It's like got expandable, is that the right word? Like sides? Oh my goodness, what an invention. What a time to be alive, guys. Things like this exist, like, Okay, that bit is not really, I don't want to push it too hard because I don't want to have a bit of an explosion. But, oh my goodness, look at that. That is genius. Almost forgot these, so I just popped downstairs and raided our medicine drawer. So I got some nasal spray. I can get a little bit sneezy sometimes, um, a bit hay fever when we're abroad. So I'm going to take that. Then we've got a few paracetamol, not many, because there's a supermarket literally just down the road and I'm sure they'll have paracetamol, but I just thought, just in case. And then also some, you know, like allergy tablets. I feel like these are always good to have because allergies, like a reaction can go from zero to 100. I also need to pop to the shop later and get some kind of allergy relief for Noah, you know, like a kid's version. Okay, quick little overview of accessories and some clothes that I'm taking. Bags, <laughs> I've got quite a few beach bags for different, like match with what I'm wearing that day. So first things first, I'm taking my beloved Girl of Muse tote bag. These are huge, you can fit so much in these, perfect for the beach, and I say that because we have this like inner pocket built into the bag, and what you can do is you can pop all your valuable bits in here. Still loads of room for like a big towel and other bits and bobs. We do actually have a few of these left on the website, so I'll leave a link for our totes down below, but they really are like such a holiday essential. Also would be great for an airport bag. Taking another one of my favourite bags. This is from H&M. I bought this last year. I love the tassels. Thought this would go nice with one of my croquet like dresses that go over my swimsuit. I've got this which I've had for absolute years and this is a like woven straw little stripy bag and I thought this would look really nice for when I wear a black swimsuit or black bikini. And I'm going to take my Chloe tote for the evenings. Now I was going to take this which is one of my favourite holiday bags. I got it from Zara a few years ago and it's so beautiful. I love like the shell detail and I think it's such a pretty bag. But my mindset now becoming a mum is literally like practicality is key. <laughs> And my first thought is, I'm not going to be able to put any nappies in there. I'm not going to be able to take a bottle or any snacks for Noah. Like really, all I'm going to fit in here is my phone and that, I'm just, I'm just not about that life anymore, guys. I need a bag that I can fit everything in, like these ones here. <laughs> so I think this one is sadly retiring from our holidays going forward. Sunglasses, I have a tortoiseshell pair and this really pretty sage green colour. Um, I've got a swimsuit that matched these. These are both from Pretty Little Thing and then I've got my favourite key sunglasses which are in the car which I need to grab. Love a cap on holiday, especially with like a nice casual outfit, you know, like an oversized tee, cycling shorts. Then I'm taking this straw hat which again I bought from Zara years ago. This is old faithful. I've had this for about three years and I absolutely love it. And when I popped into Primark the other day, I found this straw hat. How nice is this? Loving the sage green at the moment. Um, and Noah's got like a, a kind of like a mini version. And I've got a few new pairs of earrings. I picked these up from H&M the other day. How pretty are these? Thought these were very like statementy. Like if I'm not really wearing much makeup and my hair's kind of in a slick back bum, I thought popping these on would just make me look a little bit more dressy. Um, and I love a nice earring on holiday. And then I got these as well, pearly ones. I love these like gold hoops with the dangling pearly kind of like shell I guess pearly shell and these little pearl hoops I just think these are going to go with all of my outfits shoes 
nothing too exciting going on here. I've just got two pairs of Birkenstocks, got my like suede taut pair. Oh, I got these new ones. They're linen Birkenstocks. How nice are they? And I haven't worn them yet. The reason I'm taking these is because I love Birkenstocks. They are my favorite shoe. And I'm scared these might give me blisters, so I thought I've got to take these, which as you can see are a little bit more worn, as a backup. And I've just got a pair of black leather slides and the comfiest sliders in the whole world. No heels here. I know I'm not going to be wearing a heel. I haven't worn a heel in a good few years. <laughs> and yeah, I'm probably going to be carrying Noah quite a bit, so heels are a no-go on this holiday. Some new fresh PJs. Is there anything better than a new pair of PJs for your holly bobs? don't think there is got these little short sets from H&M got a neutral one and a black and white and over here is like my comfy casual clothes I'm not gonna take all of this I am gonna narrow it down I've just laid it out so I can kind of pick and choose what I'm gonna take first up we've got some little short unitards I am obsessed with unitards at the moment I've actually got this black Zara one in a leggings version and I wear it all the time I just think it's so comfortable or these unitards would look so nice with a linen shirt thrown over the top or with an oversized tee thrown over the top i've got quite a few ones here which again i thought would be great for the beach great to just chuck on around the pool um, i've got some linen shorts here just a few different pairs i've got white black um this neutral color because i think these look gorgeous with like a bikini top and a linen shirt so i'm thinking the white with a white linen shirt white bikini I think that just looks white looks lovely on holiday doesn't it i've got like a nice striped like white and neutral linen shirt which i think will look nice with those and then i've just got some olive linen trousers when i went to primark i picked up just three different colors of these little like crops and i thought these would look nice maybe with a pair of the jersey shorts you know just to like go for breakfast and stuff something comfortable just to chuck on and i've just remembered to pack a lightweight sweater because the evenings i think are going to be about 16 degrees which obviously isn't that hot so i thought best just to pack something just in case i want something nice big and like slightly warm to pop over any of my clothes packing is hard work i'm sweating it's so hot books i'm gonna take books do i think i'm gonna get a chance to read these books I'm not sure, um, but I just know if I don't take them, there'll be a time when Noah has like a three hour nap and I'm like, oh, wish I bought my book. So I'm taking two. First one is 101 essays that will change the way you think. I have read this before, but the reason I'm taking this is because they're very like short chapters. Some of those books that you can just pick up and put down whenever. Um, and you do a lot of picking and picking up and putting down of just everything when you have a baby so I'm thinking this will be a nice one and I find this book as well really shifts my mindset it makes me feel really positive really good um and it's just it's a great holiday read you know holidays you go away to feel like lovely and refreshed and have a little bit of a break um this is a good holiday book and then I'm also going to take my signs book, which I still haven't finished and I really, really love. And this is all about, um, I'm trying to think of like a quick and easy way to sum this up instead of going into like mega depth because I could talk about this book for hours. If you have lost someone close to you um, and you are struggling with grief, this is like light at the end of the tunnel kind of book and it's just really interesting um and if you guys don't know i lost my dad nearly three years ago now i can't believe it's been that long it feels like it was yesterday um and this just this really gives me like hope it makes me feel really happy so i'm gonna take this so yeah these are the books of the trip i will keep you updated if i get a chance to read them been sat in this spot for about an hour putting things in the bag getting things out the bag putting things in a packing cube getting things out of packing cube and so first off I put everything in like these bags from Amazon and then I was like I feel like they're just so bulky like they're taking up so much room and I unpack when I get on holiday anyway so I'm thinking 
these are all just gonna have to come out the bags like really what is the point i feel like the packing cubes are great for like toiletries swimwear but actual clothes i think i'm just gonna pack how i've packed this is how we're looking nothing groundbreaking does anyone's suitcase look nice <laughs> and then this is really good because in this bit you can zip that all away and then i'm thinking maybe shoes in this bit would be good because then they can go on top because they take up quite a bit of room um so this side we're gonna have just like throw on daytime bits and bobs we've got all like the jersey shorts t-shirts stuff like that and then this side i'm thinking i am gonna do like nice daytime outfits so this is like the casual throw on stuff and then these are like the actual outfits miss tilly has just found herself a very comfortable spot tilly <laughs> hello on my linen shirt so it's gonna be like a linen shirt with limited edition grey fluff. I can take a little bit of Tilly with me on holiday. So I've just been doing a little bit of outfit planning. Tilly has come to join. Hello. <laughs> so for like beach days by the pool, I have got lots of these really oversized, lovely linen shirts. Love a linen shirt on holiday. I literally live in them. I just think they're so comfortable and they always look almost a little bit dressy and then i've just laid out a few other little outfits and what i'm going to do is take a photo of the outfits and then i can just like refer back to them and know what i'm wearing each day so we've got a little green and cream combo going on over here i'm loving green at the minute if you haven't guessed so this is a, like a really lightweight croquet dress it's from pretty little thing and it fits really nicely it's got like flared sleeves as well and i think this is going to go so nice with pretty much all of my swimwear then a few little last minute bits i got from asos so this set here is from top shop it's so nice it's like these super loose fitting shorts which obviously you can wear a bikini underneath um and then the matching top which i'm planning on wearing with a white bikini i think that'll look really nice then this little linen set which is also from asos i will link as much as i can down below like as many clothes as i can find and other bits and bobs there'll be a huge list in the description box but love this i think this is so like you can mix and match this so many different ways you can wear the shorts with a different bikini top um the shirt you could wear in the evening with like a little crop and these different colored shorts you could wear this on its own with a bikini i just love sets like this because i feel like you can make lots of different outfits from the one set then i got this oversized satin shirt i love a bit of satin on holiday i think it just looks really nice um with this crinkle brown swimsuit thought those two look really nice together again from asos then over here we have a khaki yet another oversized shirt <laughs> These are what I'm going to be living in on holiday. Um, and I forgot that I bought these from H&M. So my new swimsuit, which I'm excited to wear. This looks so nice and I've heard so many good things about this brand. And then a little cap. So I'm going to take pictures of all these outfits just so I can kind of like refer back to them. Um, oh, also almost forgot to pack my beach towel. I got this one from H&M, which is really nice and like light, like it's not heavy like a towel. Um, and I got Jamie a navy blue version of this as well. And this little shell anklet. I love a holiday anklet. There is a fly in here and it's driving me crazy. It keeps landing on my face. We have got so many flies everywhere at the moment because we live on a field. It gets to this time of year and it's just fly city. Um, so you may you may see him buzzing past the camera, you probably will, because he's probably going to land on my face in about two seconds. Um, I thought I could just really quickly show you just a few of my favourite dresses that I'm taking. Um, I don't want to show you all my clothes because I don't want to bore you guys, um, but I've got a few really nice bits. So the vibes for holiday are, we're going all inclusive. So to be honest, our holiday is going to consist of chilling out by the kids' pool, lots of beach days, lots of food, lots and lots of food. Um, and some lovely walks as well. So I kind of just want easy, comfortable outfits. I've got quite a few dresses here. I can quickly get ready, get Noah ready, and I really don't have to like think about my outfit. I can just throw something on and feel nice. That's the vibe for this holiday. Throw it on and feel nice. I'm just taking a few dresses that make me feel nice, basically. So we've got first up this one, which was last year H&M, and it's got these gorgeous, like, 
frayed sleeves and bottom. Notice there's a bit of a trend. I'm loving a bit of like croquet at the moment. So there's a lot of croquet dressing. Vibes are neutral, croquet, loose fitting, linen. Am I just throwing words out there? As you guys would have seen earlier, this gorgeous little strappy croquet, this is a maxi dress. And this is to go with a swimsuit in the daytime. So if we're going for like a nice lunch somewhere, like we decide to not have the all-inclusive that day because we are going to have a few days where we obviously venture out for a lunch somewhere different or a dinner somewhere different. And I thought this could just be really nice little lunch kind of outfit. Um, also nice to go down for breakfast in, if I fancy not wearing an oversized t-shirt that day. The day I popped into H&M and I found these dresses, which I love. I got this white one. And it's kind of hard to show you guys on camera, but it's basically just like a holy croquet material. Got really pretty sleeves as well, but it has a slip dress attached on the inside. So it's not like one of those you can only wear with a swimsuit. Um, and I thought this would be really nice for the day and the evening. The evening I could dress it up a little bit more, you know, do my hair and makeup. Um, and I think that'll be a really nice evening dress, but then also would be nice to chuck over a bikini. Then this gorgeous knitted dress. I love this. Long sleeve. They're quite flared. Super thin knit and it's like backless. I just thought this would be gorgeous. I'm imagining like sunset on the beach in my knitted dress. Probably absolutely sweating and regretting my choice of knitwear. Then I got the black version of the H&M dress with the little slip dress underneath. Obviously you guys will get to see all of this properly on in the holiday vlog and also I'll post some pictures and stuff of everything. My favourite, this was in stock on H&M for about five minutes and then it went and I was so happy that I got it. So, I feel like all my dresses are the same. I'm like, here's another croquet dress. <laughs> They're all slightly different though. They're all for slight different occasions. So, long sleeve, this is really nice and like it's not it's not heavy and thick it feels nice and airy quite plain on the front as you can see but then the back again is backless it's gonna look so nice it comes to just above my knee um and again i'm thinking this can be used to throw over swimsuit bikini or can be dressed up for the evening officially packed everything fits in perfectly i'm just gonna leave this open just so i can get to a few of these bits in the morning before we leave and i just need to pop all of my like camera bits in here so i'm gonna leave that there but just need to pop just need to sort my shoe out as well because that's a little bit stuck but that will close over there hopefully and then this side i've just got all of my clothes and bags and my hats and stuff so yeah all finished okay time for a little refreshment break before we move on to oh is there anything quite like that sound oh and the bubbles ice cold fanta from the fridge i mean am i starting my holiday early or am i starting my holiday early oh. anything quite like an ice cold fanta on holiday after you've spent all day in the sun You've just had a shower, you've lathered your body in Hawaiian tropic after sun, which reminds me I need to get from downstairs. I've got some which I picked up from the shop the other day, which is on the kitchen table, so I mustn't forget that because that is the scent of holiday. You're wrapped in a towel, it's about 5 pm, you're sat on the balcony, it's still sunny, you can hear people in the pool, you can smell the holiday buffet. You just cracked open a bag of Lay's that you picked up from the supermarket earlier on that day as a pre-dinner snack and your people watching. Honestly, that is one of my favorite parts of holiday. Oh, it just sounds dreamy, doesn't it? That's gonna be me tomorrow. Well, not tomorrow, the day after tomorrow. Um, I'm hoping they have Fanta pineapple. <gasps> it's just hit me that I get to look around a Greek supermarket. Oh my goodness, guys, looking around supermarkets on holiday is actually one of my highlights. Like it's one of the things I look forward to the most. 
Um, can't wait to get some like Greek snacks. Oh, I love the little cake bars they have in abroad um, supermarkets. Oh, just so excited for absolutely everything. Anyway, we are in the nursery. I am just about to get started on Noah's suitcase. I have already laid everything. So it's worked out quite well actually because Jamie and I both get our 20 kg each luggage allowance. Then we also have a 10 kg each carry on and then Noah also gets a 10 kg. So really we have 30 kg carry on luggage. So what our plan is, is Jamie and I just gonna have our big suitcases and then Noah is gonna have our small luggages and then I'm gonna take my nappy, let me get it. Instead of taking the other 10 kg, I'm gonna take my changing backpack, which is amazing, honestly, one of my favorite things. Noah actually got me this for my first Mother's Day and it's just so convenient and I'm thinking I can keep all of his like essential travel bits in here, nappy bits, toys, snacks, bits that we're gonna need for the plane because this will go nice in the little footwell um, and just will be easy because it can live on my... So I've just gone through my list, checked everything off that is here. There are a few bits that obviously we're not gonna put in till the morning. Um, things like his toothbrush, his bottles, which, oh my goodness, the bottles is the one thing that I'm like, what do I do? Like, how do I take bottles through to the plane? So my plan is, right, I'm gonna make up, because Noah likes cold bottles, he likes cold formula. So if we go on a day out, what I usually do is I'll make three or four bottles, I'll put them in a cool bag, and then they're good for like four to six hours apparently when they're, when they're in like a, you know, like a freezer bag. So I'm thinking about making the bottles here, putting them in the cool bag and attempting to take them through security because I've heard mixed things. I've heard that they'll test them, they'll tip a little bit out and test it, make sure it's all good and then let you through. If that happens, that will be ideal because then I haven't got a faff about asking for boiled water to then have to cool it because he doesn't like it warm, like he likes cold, cold formula as in just out the fridge. Um, he likes a refreshing bottle of milk of an evening and morning. So that's what I'm gonna try. I'm also gonna take formula in the suitcases so worse comes to worse I can make it. But then when I popped into Morrison's to get some last little bits the other day, I picked up, which was a, a bit of a um, trip down memory lane, some of these, some pre-made formula, which I wouldn't usually give him, but I figured these would be good for travel. If we end up having to use these on the plane or say we're out somewhere for the day and Noah needs a bottle of milk, I just thought these would actually be great. Um, he had these, not the follow-on one, but the infant milk when we were in hospital. I remember it was the first bottle of milk he ever had, they gave me. So these made me feel a little bit like sad as does everything so i got six of these to take with us and then let me give you a little snack haul of all of the snacks that noah's loving at the moment so i got some skips skips are noah's favorite thing on planet earth he absolutely loves skips so i'm gonna put a couple bags of these just in our backpack just in case he wants a little snack in his pramer on the plane and then i'll take the rest with us um, like I said, we're all inclusive, so I really don't think we're going to need snacks, but I just think they're good to have, and they weigh nothing, so I'm going to pop them in. Then I also got some mini cheddars, which he quite enjoys. I got these little strawberry and banana smoothie melts, which I thought looked nice. And it's exciting, because he can have all of the good snacks now that are like 12 months plus. I feel like they're the best snacks. Um, if you know, you know. And got some party rings as a little treat. And I tried to think of snacks that would he would be excited about on the plane, like they're not kind of like his everyday snacks. So I thought with the party rings, he'd be like, ooh, what are these? And they'd be a little bit of entertainment for him. And then I also got just some of these smoothie fruit packs. He loves drinking these out of the pouch. So these will be great again for the plane, for the airport and just on holiday. Okay, here is everything laid out in the nursery. These are the carry-on suitcases that we're gonna take for Noah. So I'm thinking, his clothes are only teeny, so I'm thinking they should all go in these. And then, like I said, this one is my main kind of like hand luggage. So for this bag here, these are the bits that are going in that bag. So we've got nappies, wipes, nappy bags, changing mats, then small little muzzies, fuddlies, basically, 
muslin cloth. And then I got this really giant muzzy as well because I thought this would be great for when he's on the plane, he's obviously on our laps eating, we can kind of like make some kind of like makeshift bib out of this um, or we can put this round him in his pram when he's eating as well just to catch all the crumbs I thought that would be quite useful um, I also need to add a bib to this as well but it's in the wash so I'm gonna go grab that when it's done then just got two little grows just as a bit of a change of clothes if we need it in the airport or on the plane then got ear defenders for obviously when the plane takes off we've got him pretty used to wearing these before the flight like over the past few weeks so it's not so he doesn't think what is this on my head then spare spoon just got a dummy and a little chewer some new toys which i've picked up but i wanted to collect some toys that he hasn't had before um so there's something a little bit new to him to hopefully keep him entertained so we've got a new book and Jamie always does this really funny thing like I can't do it with Crocodile and he loves it so I'm thinking he'll really love this book then I got a slinky thought it was just something a bit different for him to fiddle with um, something else that's just a little bit fiddly this little caterpillar and then my mum actually has one of these at hers and he loves it so I thought I'd get him his own these like little tubes that make a fun sound i feel like he'll really enjoy fiddling with those and then one of these which you can make like into different shapes and these ones have got little faces in so i thought he would enjoy those and then this and it's like i don't even know how do i even describe what this is it's like got loads of rubbery bits <laughs> he loves to chew anything rubber and you can kind of like twist these around pull them it's basically just like a big fiddly thing you can push these in there's a little button here just basically trying everything to keep him entertained on the plane then another little toy for the plane i picked up one of these little busy books um and i just thought this would be great for when he's like sat on my lap we can have a look through everything there's loads of different bits to fiddle with we've got some velcro here there's some little buckles like laces he loves fiddling with all bits like this so i'm thinking this will be a, actually a bit of a godsend on the plane little buttons he loves a button almost forgot to show you these that i got for noah these are from also my little coco they've got some really lovely holiday bits and these are Noah's own little packing cubes, which I thought were cute. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to use this as like the snack bag because I feel like it's a really nice size. And I think this will fit really nicely in the top of this bag. And it's just easy for all of the snacks to be in one place. Noah's living the dream, isn't he? I wish someone could prepare me a snack bag for my hand luggage. Um, and then also in the pack you get, oh, snacks. Snacks. I think I'm gonna use this one actually for snacks, seeing as it says snacks. So we'll pop all the snacks in that. Snacks. I can't I can't say or think about the word snacks without going snacks. If you guys haven't seen that meme, type into YouTube snacks. Literally just the word snacks and it should come up. Swim. I'm gonna put all of his swimming stuff in there. Um and then just a few little cubes. So something else I'm gonna do, all of the liquids in Noah's suitcase, I'm actually gonna put a bag in mine or Jamie's because obviously when you get to the airport, you need to get all your liquids out. So I'm just thinking to save the hassle of having to go through the bag and get the liquids out, it'd be so much easier for me to just put these in a bag in mine, like in my big suitcase, because then I don't have to get them out of the And then these are all the bits for the main suitcase. So I'm taking a pack of his nappies that we use. Um, I wasn't gonna do this and I was actually gonna buy some there, but then I just thought, what if they don't have his size? Or I don't know, imagine they didn't have any. I just thought it's worth taking just a nice fresh pack of nappies. Then we got some swim nappies, some wipes, nappy bags. Um, I'm taking a new box of formula just so we can make this up in the hotel because he still has this sort of like morning and night before bed and maybe one before his little nap in the day. And I've got some sun cream, 
some body lotion, body wash. Then we're taking a little saline nasal spray just in case he gets bunged up. We'll have aircon in the room when we're out there and that can sometimes make me a little bit sniffly. So I thought I'll just grab some of this just in case he gets bunged up. Some cow pole just in case. And then this really useful little kit of all bits and bobs just in case. We've got a little brush in there, um, little clippers, a little file, a thermometer, just bits and bobs, a little toothbrush. Um, I just feel like this is a useful little thing to take with a baby. Then we've just got a blanket, cot sheet for the travel cot, which will be there. Um, some more muzzies. Then I've got two different sleep suits, a 2.5 tog and a 1 tog. Obviously, I don't know how cold it's going to be in the room with the aircon, so I thought I'd just take both. And we have a beach towel. This is like a poncho. Oh, that reminds me, actually. I meant to get one of his little towels out of here. Might take two of these, actually. Oh, we've got all of his swimwear. Oh my goodness, I just can't wait to see him sat by the pool in his little hat and his little sunglasses. How cute. Oh, guys, I can't wait. No, can you cope with these? Oh my goodness, look. I got these from Primark. They were the Stacey Solomon collection. They're so cute, aren't they? Jelly shoes. Oh, imagine him sat by the pool in his little his little swimsuit and his hat and his sunglasses. Oh, I just, I'm gonna cry. Last little bits for Noah, just got a big pile of clothes and quite the selection of hats. He's got a lot of hats. <laughs> Almost forgot to mention, I got Noah one of these like floats. You can't really see, it doesn't look like much now, but I'll pop a picture on screen. It's from Amazon and it's got like a, um, it's like a sheltered float so he can float around in the, but be protected from the sun. I feel like I want one of these, but in, adult size. <laughs> ready for tomorrow so yeah I feel like a huge weight has been lifted now that we're all packed I always do I think it's such like a daunting task of packing because it is actually one of my least favorite things to do but once it's done it just feels I feel like then you can get really excited last little bits I need to do is I just need to get our outfits ready for the airport um and I'm gonna have a little clean of the house this afternoon as well I just want to like Make sure that it's really nice and clean for when we get home. I love nothing more than getting back from holiday and the house is just like sorted and clean. I wanna wash our bedding. My mum is actually staying here for the week whilst we're away. She's gonna be living here um, and looking after Tilly and Teddy for the week. She's really looking forward to it. So I want to pop to the shop soonish just to grab a few bits for the fridge. Um, get some flowers and stuff to say thank you. Yeah, hope you guys enjoyed packing with me today. I feel like it was a little bit all over the place. Um, packing always is, isn't it? But I'm feeling so ready for our holiday, excited to bring you all along, and I will see you guys in Greece. Love you all so much. Bye-bye.